Alright guys, Tactical Beta back again today with another double upload. You guys seem to enjoy yesterday's kind of brief five minute secondary upload to the main topic of discussion. So I thought I'd do a similar thing again. Yesterday we talked about this mystery change potentially coming. I said maybe as a conclusion that it's probably more likely to be something which is Activision or CDL led rather than Infinity Ward led because maybe they wouldn't have as much uh, knowledge and appreciation of it. Does indeed seem to be the case. So yesterday it came out from Mac Melt and other players talking about the auto tax sprint as some of you guys were mentioning in the comment section of yesterday's video as well so yeah max saying like we don't like auto tax sprint a lot of pros going on a similar thing if you guys don't really play the game much there's an option so that whenever you move your left analog stick forward as if you were going to walk at full speed rather than even run you will just sprint full auto tax sprint you'll bring your gun up in the air and do all of this makes it much easier to do um well to get, get cracked out i guess and do these kind of movements um and you know some people like it some people don't like it obviously a lot of pros don't seem to be liking it right now and think it's a little bit too strong and makes it too easy then again it does mean that you don't have to constantly button mash and you don't get arthritis when you're 35 maybe that's also something to consider but yeah so Abizi and uh, Brian Sate from Rocker were talking about it. Auto tax sprint actually shouldn't be a thing. First of all two different sprint speeds shouldn't be a thing. Abizi's like well you know that's not going to be fixed at this point. Saint says CDL settings enabled should disable the auto tack option. I do agree. So yeah, that's Saint's opinion. And then this comes out from CDL Intel again. I'm told a gentleman's agreement. This could be the change that was being discussed. Probably is on auto tax bin, Merc foregrip and snaking is currently being discussed. No outcome as of yet. So nothing to do with the 10 millimeter, nothing to do with slide cancel, potential changes from Infinity Ward. Looks like it could be auto tax sprint gentleman's agreement. If you guys don't know what a GA is, that's a gentleman's agreement. It's where the pros decide unanimously that like this probably isn't good for, well, not only us to play from a competitive standpoint, but also probably not to watch, um, you could argue. And, um, you know, okay, so they decide, or at least some pros are considering that this should go. Merc foregrip is the attachment on the MP5 that really tightens up your hip fire spreads clip from a uh, Dylan Cod right here just to share with you guys from earlier in the year when Kenny absolutely smokes him with the MP5 in hand pretty insane the hip fire on this um, with the Merc foregrip just on another level but also it was the headshot multiplier coming into play to some degree so Merc foregrip um, you know looking like it could be on the way out snaking is of course an interesting one because you know, snaking is where you lay down behind cover and then you stand up and then you like kind of crouch lay down stand up crouch lay down and it kind of cameras the other player you can't really see them even though they can see you type of thing it was really bad in infinite warfare right you guys remember the splice team and everything went back and forth about that at the time but at the same time sometimes you're reloading and it's just the best thing to do right crouch stand up crouch stand up kind of thing so okay i don't know how you really ga this because if someone does it by accident or something like that then do they forfeit the map or you know what happens right that's something to consider but auto tax spin is probably one of the most interesting of the three right here because uh, this is something that really does affect the game now the main topic of the discussion of course regarding this is this tweet that comes out next saying I'm hearing Florida and Dallas aren't agreeing to these now um Florida being one team of course Dallas being another team a lot of people would say the best team in the game right now until it's proven that they can be beaten Shotzi and Lillian Co love using this movement right like Shotzi, Ilian Hook just are all over this auto tax spin it really helps them be the best they can be and helps them get to that higher level because a lot of other players can't compete with these guys cracked outless right you could say and um you know obviously Dallas are like well why would we uh, gentlemen's agreement something and it's interesting right because in the past people always say that let's say the bar in um, World War 2 the long barrel was GA'd the Sorg um, the stock 2 was GA'd and at the time people were saying oh you know this is just a pros taking it too far but apparently in this case it's not people aren't taking it too far um, and maybe uh, apparently Dallas are the ones in the wrong or Florida are the ones in the wrong who knows really who's in the wrong what I would say is that look if you're the 10 teams that do want this gone go to the CDL and and say instead of doing this gentleman agreement stuff go to the CDL and say look 10 of the 12 teams in your league want this stuff gone why don't you just talk to Infinity Ward and ensure that in the CDL settings when CDL settings are enabled in game it bans out auto tax print as an option you can't use it it gets rid of more you know Merc foregrip right you could say that right so instead of having to do all this GA stuff and have to worry about it behind the scenes and then in um, in the CDL playlist and in amateur stuff like do we follow exactly what the pros are 
doing or do we not do that and what's allowed in GBs and all this kind of stuff. You need to make it consistent across the CDL. And look, if 10 of the 12 teams agree to this and the CDL say, okay, that's fair enough, that's a decent enough majority to move forward with it, then they ban this stuff in the official CDL rule set. And that really is the best way to go about it, I think, than worrying about this whole like GA and who's agreed and who hasn't agreed and all this stuff. If there's a big majority, who knows what the CDL say, maybe they decide it has to be unanimous, right, to ban something out of their game. But I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts down below. You know, it's somewhat understandable that Dallas don't want to get rid of this. Like, at the end of the day, you have to consider they're the best team in the game in this meta right now. It's not really to their benefit to do it, right? And I don't really see how it helps the viewer experience getting rid of it. And, um, of, of course, it causes issues further down the chain, as I said, CDL playlist and other things as well. So, yeah, enjoy to hear your thoughts down below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new. As always, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.